If you are owning an iPod Touch first generation and maybe just afforded it, your first feelings when you connected it to the computer might have been, uh oh. And that's because Apple did something that's called a pro gamer move. They cancelled the iPod Touch first generation's restoring support in iTunes 12. But instead of throwing that Stone Age device back into your closet with a connect to iTunes screen on it, we will get your iPod Touch first generation back to life today. With a 50% chance because we are facing some problems. The first one is that this ancient device definitely has seen better days. Because of that hardware components like the battery could be broken. What doesn't exclude that it shows the connect to iTunes screen anyway. Our second problem is called iTunes, because that program sucks. So it might be possible that a huge variety of iTunes error codes appears. Okay, let's get into it now. As I already mentioned, iTunes version 12 doesn't support iPod Touch first gen restorings anymore. So we have to get rid of that version. To do that, open up your settings and go to apps and features. Now uninstall everything that has something to do with iTunes. Adios Apple application support. Goodbye Apple Mobile Device Support, Auf Wiedersehen Apple Software Update, Au Revoir Bonjour, and iTunes has to leave this computer too. The next thing to do would be to open up your music folder. Inside of that, you should find a folder called iTunes. Inside of that one is your iTunes library, so just rename or remove it. Now we will install an older version of iTunes. I put you a link into the description, but I can't guarantee that it's 100% safe. But I downloaded the same version from the same site and it works fine. After the installation is complete, you can open up iTunes and connect your iPod Touch first generation. And then you can try to restore it. If that didn't work, we have to go a step further. In the description you can find another ominous link. That one brings you to a website called White Door. There you can download the iOS 3 IPSW file for your iPod Touch first generation. You could also download the White Door IPSW file to give your iPod Touch first generation an iOS 7 look. You can convince yourself right here. After downloading the version you like better, you open up iTunes again, click Restore while hitting the Shift key, and choose the IPSW file. If that doesn't work and you get the iTunes error code 3194 or 1600, you should check out this video right here, which should help you to solve that. If your iPod Touch first generation couldn't be restored after all, I have to disappoint you. I've tried this whole procedure with four different iPod Touches of the first generation. And the only one it didn't work with was an iPod Touch first generation. I'm pretty sure it has a hardware defect. I hope I've helped you with this video. If that should be the case, I would really appreciate the thumbs up. If you have different ideas to solve the problems shown in this video, I'm very curious about your comments. I wish you a nice day and see you next time. Bye.